would we be without the Holy Spirit who brought light into darkness? Where would we be without him? The very person who created the heavens and the earth by the breath of his mouth, the Spirit of the Lord. The Holy Spirit who moved upon the face of the waters, the scripture says, brooding over the face of the earth, brooding over the face of chaos, bringing light and beauty and perfection and glory. The Holy Spirit, absolute perfection, absolute perfection. Same Holy Spirit reaching out, calling the saints of old into the kingdom. Adam, where would he be without the drawing power of the Holy Ghost in his own life? The scriptures clearly speak of the fact faith born in his own heart as the scripture declares, God covered him with blood. At that moment, faith was born in his heart for his own redemption. By the Spirit of the Lord. It was because of that faith given by the Spirit of God to Adam himself. That he spoke to his own son and his own children. One hearing the message and one rejecting the message of the blood. And Abel offered unto God an excellent sacrifice, we read in scripture. How? What caused him to offer that excellent sacrifice but faith? Born by the Spirit of the Lord. Faith is not something we create with our own mind. Faith is not something we produce with our own physical or emotional energy. Faith is the gift of God to our life. The gift of the Holy Spirit into our hearts. He is the spirit of faith, writes Paul the Apostle in 2 Corinthians 4. The spirit of faith, he calls him in verse 13. The Holy Spirit is the one who gave faith that Abel offered that sacrifice to God knowing he'd be accepted. Faith given to Noah to build that ark knowing God would protect him. Who gave him that faith but the spirit of God? Faith in the life of Abraham. By the Spirit of the Lord, faith was born in his heart. Having not seen yet believing. When God spoke and said, come out of Ur and Aaron to a land I'll show thee. Having never seen it, he saw it by the Spirit. He saw that by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit revealed the promises of God to Abraham. It was the Holy Spirit, ladies and gentlemen. That caused Abraham to live, to walk with God, to see the invisible. Having not received the promises, the Bible declares they received them, they held them close to their hearts. Having not seen them with the eye of the flesh, they saw them with the eye of the spirit and held them in their hearts. Whose faith? The Spirit's faith. The Holy Spirit's faith. Oh, I pray you'll see this. You'll see this tonight with all your heart. Isaac. Coming into the land. Into Gerar. Whose voice did he hear? Go not down to Egypt. But stay in the land, saith the Lord. 
Whose voice did he hear? But the Holy Spirit. Protecting him from disaster. Had he gone down to Egypt? Stay in the land and I will bless thee. And I will be with thee, saith the Lord. It's the Lord. The Spirit is the Lord, the Bible declares in Corinthians. And the Lord is the Spirit. The Lord is that Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. My God, where would I be? Where would my life be without the Holy Spirit? Where would you be without the Holy Spirit? 